Hey, this is Joe Giantolano, and you're watching Motor Cult TV. Today, we're coming to you from San Bernardino at the Stater Brothers 18th Annual Route 66 Rendezvous. We've got some really cool classic cars to show you today and some really cool people that we're going to talk to. So come and join us. Good, good, man. Just kicking back here, watching the cars, enjoying the day, just, hey, chilling out. Nice. So we stopped because we definitely had to check out your car. Can you tell us a little bit about this fine Cadillac you have here? Yeah, it's a 1936 Cadillac touring sedan. Yeah, and I brought it back from uh, Florida, and I redid the car, and it's, you know, had a couple modifications and stuff, but the car was actually uh, a museum car for a lot of years, and I just restored it again and just kind of did it with my own touch. A museum car. What what exactly is that? Like, was it just a model? Or? Well, the guy the guy had purchased it from a museum 35 years ago, and then he restored it. He had it in the Great Race back in '85. This came in third place. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> like you were saying. Anyways, when I bought it, then I you know I brought it back from Florida, and I pretty much just restored the whole car, and just kind of put my own touches on it. And the car's been trophy winner ever since. Awesome, it's definitely fabulous. So it, it looks like it, it could have been a limo. Like what exactly was, like who would drive this car? I don't know, back in the 30s that was a, re a recession back then or a depression, whatever you want to call it. And uh, probably somebody well to do, I'd imagine because that was a depression area. But uh, the car was, a like I said, the car was really um, a good car when I purchased it. And hey, I just did it up my own way and been, uh, what do you call it, best of show every show ever since. So, okay, so it was already in good shape. So what modifications did you specifically do when you got well, after you got, got started? Air, it's got air ride system on it. It's got four-wheel disc brakes on it. And it's got the original drivetrain on it. But that's pretty much it. Restored everything outside, inside. Just redid everything on it. And, you know, the car really, you can go 75, 80 on it in the freeway. And it just drives like a Cadillac. It's definitely <laughs> much faster than it would have been back in the 1930s, right? No, this car, these cars were made to go that speed. Really? Yeah, yeah these cars were back then were uh, made to go go 8590 and it still does the same thing today. They would have been blowing away everybody on the, on the road, I'm sure. No, it, well this car, like I said, you can drive it uh, anywhere. You know, it's not a car that just sounds, yeah. I've taken in long trips and everything, it drives beautiful. And people ask me how it drives, like wait, it drives like a Cadillac. And his awesome Bel Air. How's it going, Steve? Pretty good. Very cool. So we basically got stopped in the middle of the street by the purple and green flames and your awesome Bel Air. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you did with your Bel Air and, and, and what kind of uh, modifications you did? We see some really cool stuff on it, definitely. Yeah, well, it's originally a uh, 265 small block uh, power pack car from the factory back in 55. It now has a 327 uh, 60 inch overbore on it with a high lift cam, nice carburetor, headers, uh, four speed. There's a lot of revving going around here. And that's where the, the, the flames and all that. I wanted a car, I've always wanted a car that had flames, and uh, this is what we, we came up with the painter and myself. Definitely unique. I can for sure say I've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, it's a, it's a custom blend. It's a House of Colors it originally started out as House of Colors uh, pink magenta with candy purple tips and then uh, violet pearl over everything. But it was it was laid down over a black base, a dark base. So that's why the color really is really deep in the front. It's definitely beautiful, beautiful paint job. Yeah, and then the, the pinstriper, the guy that laid down the pinstripes was the one that picked out the lime green uh, accented pinstriping, which 
I would have never thought it would look great, but it, it just, it's, it really sets everything off. It does, it totally works. It like really gives it a big punch with, yeah. the, with the purple. It does. Um, and if you look inside the engine, I mean, you've even got flames on the, on the what is this, the carburetor, right? Yeah. Yeah, so t can you tell us a little bit about what you, what's going on in here? Well, it's just, it's a K&N uh, air cleaner with, with a, a ball milled uh, aluminum chromed air cleaner with, with the flames milled into it. And I just wanted to carry the flame, you know, the, the theme all the way through the whole thing. We just got the, I, I've got the car back together again. I did some work on over the winter time, got it back together just prior to coming here this year. Well, definitely you've got a, you've done a great job on it. How many times have you been to uh, Route 66 rendezvous? Uh, this makes about the eighth or ninth time. Oh, so you're regular then, yeah? Yeah, we try to make it every year. So we've been coming since uh, 98. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been, you've been here a few years. So what do you like best about coming to this event? Just After that guy passes by. Just all the cars. We, uh, we like looking at the cars, watching them go by. We used to cruise a lot, but now it's, you know, just, it gets too hot. The cars overheat a lot and, you know, it's just easier to say, you know, let everybody come by. <laughs> we drive by and watch them. Well, you can sit nice and cool in the shade in your good spot which i'm sure you're reserved like really oh, yeah. early in the morning oh yeah <laughs> yeah we we get our stuff in bright and early as soon as it, the, the the reservations start coming in so we get a good prime spot down here yeah you definitely i, I know you're professional with this because you got the shadiest spot over here that's for sure oh yeah <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Steve. This is a fabulous car. You've done a great job. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the Route 66 Rendezvous. Okay, thanks a lot. And that's it for this episode of Motor Cult TV. I'm Joan, and we've had great fun here today at the Route 66 Rendezvous. So see you next time on Motor Cult TV.